half a dozen Fed speakers on the tape today. Let's get to Steve Leisman with the latest. Hey, Steve. Hey, Carl, we do have an interview coming up with Loretta Mester, the Cleveland Fed president, but she has made some headlines in the meantime saying they need to assess, the, sorry, they need to assess the need for rates, how long to remain restrictive. She says the pass through of prior tightening and how restrictive rates are are keys to the policy outlook. Um, the Cleveland Fed president also says that heightened global tensions pose risks to the outlook. She mentioned specifically the Israel-Hamas war in Ukraine, as well as a slowdown in the Chinese economy. Demand, she says, is moderating. Supply conditions have improved. And she says there's been uh, the economy and employment have both slows. And she sees discernible progress on inflation. Uh, inflation, she says, still is still well above the Fed's goal. will take time to get it back down. Monetary policy, she says, is in a good place. Now, guys, for the first time here, we're presenting the probabilities for the Federal Reserve funds rate without looking at the hike probability because there is none. All we're looking at now are cut probabilities. So get used to that, I suppose, at least for a time here. Zero percent cut probability in December, so 99 or 100 percent chance of unchanged. Uh, January, a 4 percent cut probability. March, 36 percent. May, now 69 percent. So within a sh few short months, the market has pretty much baked in the idea of a cut in Fed policy. I tee this up because we do have an interview coming up with Loretta Mester, the Cleveland Fed president, and we're going to ask her that question. That's the question for all Fed folks coming up, but I think it's the question they don't want to answer. It's also questions I'll put to Susan Collins, the Boston Fed president, tomorrow. We have a 10-15, I guess it's right on this show here, coming up tomorrow with Susan Collins, and that's going to be the question, guys. Are you going to cut, Sarah, or you're not going to answer the question, I guess is where we're at right now.